We've all heard the term, you are what you eat, but actually the truth is you are what you absorb. There are many wonderful chemicals and phytonutrients in the plants we eat, but can we always absorb and utilize them? There seems to be a really simple way we can enhance our absorption of these wonderful nutrients. So let's hear from Dr. Michael Greger as he discusses this study. They measured the levels of antioxidants, for example, within the study subjects' blood for a period of 10 hours after they ate a big salad. They did that with a kind of a full-fat dressing or induced-fat dressing and then a, and then a fat-free dressing. And uh, you do that with a full-fat dressing, you see this huge, this big bell curve of your antioxidants spiking up and then coming down or over a period of 10 hours. And you do that with a reduced-fat dressing, you really have a blunted curve. And you do that with a fat-free dressing, and there was essentially no change. It's like you didn't even eat the salad in the first place. None of the nutrients got into the bloodstream. And it really is it's not what we eat, it's what we absorb. And many of the nutrients, these wonderful phytonutrients found in plant foods like salad, are fat soluble and so one needs fat actually in the stomach kind of at the same time for these nutrients to get absorbed. Of course oil is not good for you, it's just a lot of uh, empty calories, but whole um, plant foods like avocados and nuts, or pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, wonderful additions to one salad and one really doesn't need a lot of fat. So for example six walnut halves. Um, for a big salad, it's all the fat one needs to maximize one absorption. Uh, similarly, a quarter of an avocado, enough. That's all the fat you need to get all those wonderful nutrients. So fine, use a fat-free dressing, but just make sure that there's some kind of fat. In his video, Forgo Fat-Free Dressings, linked below, Dr. Greger discusses another study on salsa. Here's what the researchers found. This is all the lycopene we absorb from salsa, that great red phytonutrient that protects against cancer. Salsa is packed with lycopene, but because salsa is a fat-free food, we absorb very little. But this is how much we absorb if we add some avocado to that salsa. Again, the fat helps suck up the nutrition. And adding a whole avocado in this study worked just as well as adding half of one. In fact, just one quarter of an avocado is probably all the fat we need to add to salsa or salad to maximize absorption. So we've heard about the importance of adding whole plant fats to salads and salsa, but what about when we consume green juices and green smoothies? Green smoothie, green juice. It's all about kind of having it in your digestive tract at the same time. So, you know, if you had a you know, a handful of nuts when you're chugging down that juice. That's all you need, and it would definitely be better. In fact, I mean, there's so much nutrition in juice greens. In fact, there's probably more nutrition than anything else on the planet that you'd hate to lose any of that. You know, you want it in the in your bloodstream, not in the sewer stream. It's important to make sure that you have fat in your stomach at the same time. It's important to get fat into our diet. It should come from whole plant foods. That research Dr. Greger was discussing was released in 2004 and it focused on alpha and beta carotene and lycopene. Now that same research group published a new study in 2017 that is built on that previous research. They found that eating salad with added fat promotes the absorption of eight different micronutrients that promote human health. Those nutrients include four carotenoids, alpha and beta carotene, lutein and lycopene, two forms of vitamin E and vitamin K and vitamin A, which formed in the intestine from the alpha and beta carotene. Researchers said that better absorption of the nutrients promotes a range of health benefits, including cancer prevention and eyesight preservation. The study also found that the amount of fat added to the vegetables had a proportional relationship with the amount of nutrient absorption. That is, more fat means more absorption. The researchers analysed subjects who ate five salads with 0, 2, 4, 8 or 32 grams of soybean oil. Blood samples were taken to assess the study participants' degree of nutrient absorption. The results showed maximal nutrient absorption occurred at around 32 grams of oil, which was the highest amount studied, or a little more than two tablespoons. The researchers did caution against eating too much fat and recommend using a maximum of two tablespoons of oil per day. 
Now, as we've learnt in previous videos, we know that oils are not a health food, so it's much safer to get our fat from whole food sources such as nuts, seeds and avocados. For example, the fat content in 1.5 ounces of shelled walnuts would roughly be equal to the amount found in 2 tablespoons of soybean oil. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.